Okay, I'm in Paris with my sister. Come here. Okay, we're gonna shoot my Amazon clothes. So lit. I'm doing my own hair and makeup this time. And we're gonna shoot half of them in Sarah's apartment, half of them somewhere else in Paris. This is gonna be our little get ready with me. I started with this, which I helps with the redness, but my one tip is like, don't do too much on your chin. And then I use the Auric Arc Glow Lust, which is like kind of a tinted moisturizer, but has like a ton of highlighting. So I had this trip planned ish for a while because my sister you know, like had just moved and I wanted to help her. Um, but there was a point where I like didn't think that I was gonna be able to go because I was waiting on my samples from Amazon to arrive and they were gonna come like right when I left and I like needed them to do a shoot. Basically, they ended up coming surprise a few days early at like 10 p.m. on a Friday. And I was like, wait, I can still go and I can shoot my clothes there. Um, and that'll be really exciting. I have the beauty filter on right now, but like my skin has been having a really hard time. Um, I'm not here for it. Um, today is March 26th, Sunday, and I can't even announce this until April 14th. So this is like being filmed far in advance. But for anyone who's like, what is she even doing in Paris? I don't know. Also, I'm really hoping TikTok is not banned by the time that I go to post this. Here's retouch off. You can like see it's like, ooh, like the, all the texture is like bugging. I e the TikTok ban. I was looking at someone's video the other day and she was saying like, you should never have like one predominant fan base and like not have information. And I do have a newsletter. I created the newsletter like specifically for stuff like this. As I try to move more into like an entrepreneurial space with like launches and stuff, I wanted a way to like announce exciting projects, which is also why I've been kind of MIA on TikTok recently because I've been like, in my own little world grind trying to figure out like what's next and like how to build it efficiently sustainably sustainably and like maintainably at the end of the day like i love all the girls that follow me on here and i wouldn't want to lose that because it is my job and it is what is like the only reason that i'm able to like even do stuff like this and like design and if i didn't have that it would be like i really don't have anything and like that's the coolest part regardless of like what i want stuff to look like for me like right now in terms of like how much I post content and what type of content it is and like etc because it's still my page. I'm excited about these projects coming up especially this like everything but the dress event that I'm planning um with someone and we me and Jenna are like putting on this crazy event. Planning this event has genuinely been the biggest part of my 2023 so far. It takes so much work. Essentially it's a pop-up department store um for brides and we have all of these brands coming in with like cur like curated this selection of bridal wear um it's called everything but the dress to show you the pitch video we made because it's kind of like so cool um we worked really hard on it but basically like it's everything but your wedding dress so it's like your shoes your registry like any type of like bachelorette wear like bathing suits like rehearsal dinner dresses like all of the cool stuff like that i would like show you guys all the time but like we're gonna put it all in one place and it's like ticketed and it's like an open bar and like a huge like sack shoe floor vibe for two days in the summer and like literally all in one place like you get to try all your stuff on in one place um it's gonna be sick we haven't even discussed really announcement so i guess if this is me announcing it like whoops but it's gonna be really cool Okay, so it's going to be in the beginning of June, and the first one's in New York, but the next one is going to be, like, hopefully in LA, and then we want to do, like, Charleston and stuff like that. It's epic. We're going to have to go into it, like, more later. Right now, we are focusing on shooting before it starts raining outside. Um, actually, when I flew in on Tuesday, I was sick, and then I got Sarah sick. <laughs> Sorry. Cute. Look like a mess. No, you don't. Um... Where are you going to put them? In the top of my area in Lulu's closet. The cups are all paper. They got poured on. Oh, the cup got poured on? <laughs> yes. That but why would they put ice in a paper cup anyway? Environmentally friendly. Mm. Last time you went for this very like pink girly glowy look and then like this really spicy look. And this time I want to go for like something I'm really paired back. But like her face is still going to be on Amazon. That's what I told my sister this morning. I was like, pair back, oh, slay. This RX stuff is so cool because it's like, this is cream on the bottom and then on the top, it's like powder. It's so sick. Um, anyways, pair back is such a complex statement when you're still talking about a photo shoot. 
So I'm just sort of going like, I don't want like crazy, I want like really like a natural hair. I'm not doing anything to it, I'm brushing it. It air dried last night, um, no spray tan, like nothing. Like I just want it like hella like clean, natural, like flowers and like a pretty backdrop. I'm still gonna add some pink though because it's just like so romantic. Start with the like not glitter, see what happens. Like a little tent. This is like a super light brush, so I don't feel like it's gonna go on anything more than like a little undertone. I can tell. Okay, I added the glitter on top of that. I think it's cute. I think it's glowy. It's cute. So I've been here without John this entire week. Definitely starting to miss him, but it's it's good sister time. Trish McAvoy mascara is my favorite of all time, and it was actually the first mascara that I ever had when I was 15. If we can beat the rain, I think we're going to do some here and then some in front of Luxembourg Gardens in this cute little building that Sarah scouted. Oh, I had a whole outfit change <laughs> during this video. I'm trying to decide on wing eyeliner versus no eyeliner. Hmm. We'll do lips first. I can't even lie. I am having a little bit of stress with this because the last time I did have hair professionally done and makeup professionally done and now i'm doing it myself and not doing anything to my hair but like i also like really prepped my skin last time and now like from travel like in person like it's actually horrible so i'm extremely nervous about how like i might actually i didn't i only did light editing i didn't even do any smoothing in my pictures last time but i think i might this time okay so i decided i had to do the liner okay fire just needed a little shaping we have minutes left on this, so now I guess I can show you the clothes. Okay, I'm brushing my hair out. I'll just have Sarah. She's taking the photos. We're doing bang for your buck marketing today. But she took her engagement photos. Slayed those. So I think it's gonna be fine. I think I just have her like move my hair throughout the shoot. But like honestly, I'm just I'm, I'm way more into this like who gives it like crap vibe right now like i've always been a hella simple with like jewelry and stuff until like the past like two years so now i'm like this feels more me we are trying to beat the rain so there she is. okay we're gonna take some pictures over here first okay this is set number one i've been trying to design this forever i think my like vibe and my design style is like very vacation-y because I feel like this is such a cute getting ready set for a bride and I have a pattern on for bridesmaids but um I kind of like that untied like this but it's also like fire bathing suit cover up which was intended because like you don't it's bridal non bridal right but also it's like if you give it to them on the bachelorette trip or whatever then like everybody gets to wear stuff the whole time and then it's like pajama but not pajama anyways the strings are like so lit